My name's Dan Cross, I'm studying physics at Cardiff University and I'm an intern at Tokamak Energy. So I'm doing some modelling work with heat flux distribution on the diverter plates, working with the diverter team in the ST40 Tokamak. So here we have the diverter plates separated into eight different sections and here is the heat flux, so how hot that region of our diverter plate gets. We want to achieve like an accurate distribution of the heat flux across the whole diverter plates. So as we increase the temperature of the ST40, this will give us a heads up before we reach 100 million degrees to how, how hot we can actually go. Well, what I'm working on is part of the diverter project. A diverter plate is part of the tokamak and it needs to be cooled because it gets to very high temperatures. We need a coolant to be able to cool this and therefore you need a coolant cycle. I'm looking into using gas as the coolant instead of the normal water. Therefore, that's a lot of chemical engineering because there's heat transfer, the way the gases and the flows work, what phase the gas is in. And so that's classic chemical engineering that's needed to be applied in the diverter. I'm here for 10 weeks and I'm doing plasma rendering. I have certain programs which tell me how the plasma acts and then I put that in a like artificial world, put some artificial cameras on it and observe it and see what it's doing. This is a spectrum. It's the power against wavelength and this uh, spike is a simulation of a, a beam intersecting with the plasma. It's a powerful diagnostic tool. The width of this peak is related in a very complicated way to the temperature of the plasma and of the beam. So if you can do stuff like this, you can work out what your plasma temperature is. At the moment, I'm working on testing some material properties that are going to be used on mechanical components on the SD40. So I've been in charge of coming up with the test rig, designing the test rig, sourcing the materials and manufacturing and doing the test, writing the report, putting my report in the database. I think that it's a really good place to know that you're going to have a project that isn't just random or easy or kind of filling in paperwork or making coffee, but actually something that will teach you something and that you feel like you're contributing. Being able to work together to solve problems, I guess you can't do it individually, you need the help from everyone, so I guess that's a skill you definitely need. Uh, you don't really do that much at university. You might have a few group projects, but it's nothing like working in a team of 80, 90 scientists. Working here is definitely made me want to work in Fusion definitely in the future because it's such a big challenge. That's just inherently exciting and it's, it's something useful as well. You know, it's very applied. And I think that when you're doing research in science, it's nice to know that what you're doing is very significant in a way. I want to work somewhere where I feel like what I work on is impacting in a positive way but also challenging me and it's not just something that I can easily do. I basically want to lead a career that has a positive impact on the planet and on the society as a whole. I definitely recommend the Tokamak Energy placement because the experience you gain here is so valuable, especially in the future. It makes you decide really what you want to do after your degree.